and they're all in line. They're racing in the South Beach. It was a good start for Sassy Kitten, and there goes Skylander Girl on the outside, and she's spooky up and after the lead. Ready Signal going with them from the inside, and Marlboro's is fourth early. After a good start, Sassy Kitten is fifth and racing down on the inside of Romantica Mia, and then it's Y. Catherine outside of Red Minx. In behind them comes Kitty Wine, who's ten lengths off the lead at this stage alongside of Tokyo Time. Outside of them, Triple Arch is next, and then Baffle Me in the trailer is Tutta Pegasi. 23-3 and three for the quarter, up the back stretch they go. She's Spooky, the leader. And Skylander Girl is second on the outside. These two making the pace three lengths ahead of Ready Signal, who's alongside of Marlboro's. Romantic Ami is alongside of them. In behind them comes Sassy Kitten, and she's got five lengths to make up at this stage after a 47-flat half mile. And Red Minx follows them. Why Catherine is eight lengths off the lead outside of horses. Kitty Wine is biding time on the inside, and then comes comes Tokyo time in between horses and Tutta Paisi on the outside. And they're coming to the top of the stretch. And it is Skylander Girl on the outside. Skylander Girl stucks the head in front. She's Spooky is running in second. And then comes Ready Signal and Marlboro's on the far outside. Baffle Me is next. And they're coming down to the final 16th. And here's Marlboro's. Marlboro's is going to get up. In time, in the South Beach, from a late closing Baffle Me, Kitty Wine was there, and then came Red Minx. Station for the South Beach being presented by D.D. Wythorn, Miami Beach Commissioner, to the winning connections of Marlboro. The Superfecta paid $2,767.70. The Super High Five, $16,558.80. The Double, $1,320. The pick three twenty six fifty. The pick four one hundred three dollars forty cents. The pick five three hundred fifteen dollars twenty five cents. Four out of five six dollars seventy five.